show these guys today. I mean, man, I'm showing them so much. Hey, I got an idea. You ever guys heard of a brocade texture? Maybe you have. There's some videos out there I've seen of it. Well, I'm going to show you my version of doing a brocade texture, and it's a cool custom texture, and it doesn't require a whole lot of fancy equipment, so let's get through this little intro, and I'll show you right after we get back. Okay, what is a brocade texture? Well, here's a little picture of it. I'm gonna show you the final result here, even though I haven't done it. But you know, this is magic of video. Actually, don't let me forget. I don't ever wanna forget this. I appreciate you guys showing up here. I appreciate everybody in my community here at the Kilted Guy Videos School of Drywall School. Um, don't even know how to say that right, do I? You know, I try and connect with everybody because I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to teach you, so hopefully I do. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them down in the comment section or shoot me an email. There's a link in that description down below, as well as a link to some of our other videos, uh, some information, a lot of good information down, down in that uh, description down below my feet section. So check that out. Now, now I've shown you a picture of what that is. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. And one advantage to this is it doesn't require an air compressor. It doesn't require any fancy tools. It basically requires a pan and a knife and a bucket of mud. Now you might need a drill or something to mix that up, but basically it's a pan and a knife. And then we're going to make this little tool here and you can make it about any way you want. What I did, my dad showed me this little trick many years ago. See, I grew up doing, don't, uh, uh, <laughs> we'll leave that in there probably, won't we? I grew up doing this stuff. I, I was actually walking on a pair of stilts when I was eight years old because my dad took me to a job site with him and I was so short, I couldn't reach the screws that were this high on the wall. So I was a little bitty. And first thing I did, I gotta tell you that one, I remember it clearly because they put me on the stilts and the first thing I did was the, Whoa, and I went backwards and my uncle was there too. He caught me and they knew that was gonna happen. Well, I spent the rest of the day actually spotting nails and I would spot a nail about like this. It'd be about like, and then I'd hold the wall, move down, spot the next one. So I've been doing this a long time, but anyway, my dad showed me how to do this and all we do is take a like this, I believe, is a piece of three-quarter inch particle board. You could use plywood or whatever. And I took an old stomp brush head and attached to here so that I can screw a extension pole, like a paint extension pole, onto this for reaching ceilings. And then you take some insulation and staple it to the surface and wrap plastic around it. And then you've got this squishy, surface like this that's really all there is to it so i mean you can make that a dozen different ways then there's a couple different ways you could do that you could mix up some texture put it in like a tote or something and dip that into it and then stomp it onto the wall because this is actually going to end up being a knocked down texture you can leave it unknocked down we've done that before too but you're going to stomp it onto the surface and then knock it down or what we're gonna go for here is we're just gonna spread some mud on the wall or it could be the ceiling now you could roll this on that's how I'd probably do it if I was gonna do a lot and the look you get is gonna vary depending on the thickness that you put it on here so let's do a thicker section down here and a thinner one up towards the top so it's medium medium thin up there and medium thick down here i'm not sure how I, wait, I do know how far the camera can see it can see all the way down here I'm using a different camera i'm shooting these on my iphone because man these new iphones have some great video now you usually want to load your stomping pad up here you can do that by stomping it through the mud a little bit or we'll just get it started here with some mud See if we can't load it that way. Usually we just go ahead and stomp it around a while. So 
if you've seen my stump brush texture, it's a similar concept, but it gives a different look. Okay, so. Now, you can see it just leaves a whole lot of peaks. And you know what, I would play with this. I actually haven't done a stump or a brocade texture in quite a while. I wanted this one to be a little thinner, but because I loaded it, it didn't come out quite as thin as I want. So let's redo that top half a little thinner. The bottom half, it's heavy, so I like it. Okay, so you just put it on there and then this is pretty thick mud. So let me see where I put my, there we go. Where I put my knock, knock down knife and I use a plastic knock down knife. You can use a metal one, but it's gonna lay it down flatter and smear it more and it tends to leave more edges. So I kind of like this look. So now we could let it set up a while or we could just go over it right now and I usually like to do my knockdowns two different directions it takes away that that pattern that you get if you go all one direction now that's sample one I'm going to show you a different way here in a second but that is sample one and I'm going to take a picture of this so I'm going to stop uh, the camera take a picture of how this looks and how this looks and then I'm gonna get a different piece of sheetrock out here and we're gonna do it a slightly different way. So hang on, we'll do that right after this, but here's how this looks on a still image. Okay, now what I wanna do is show you a different method that should give us quite a bit different look. Okay, so this time what's different is we got the mud in the tote and it's slightly, uh, slightly thinner than it was not much and let's see where I can do this this time we're going to dip this into the mud we want to get a pretty good load on it and just stomp it around here and there get get it loaded up good here and we want it kind of random we don't want that shape to be transmitting through and we don't want it to be too uniform either. Let's go for a little more over here. Now, I will tell you honestly that it's been about 15 years since I've done one of these because it's not something I see much. So I'm kind of experimenting right now. And that's a lot about what you do with these custom textures. So I'm going to say we're going to leave that right about like that. That's the little, little car goes by revving its exhaust. And then we're going to knock that down and see what that comes out like. So we'll go over it a few times till get the look that I'm kind of looking for here. And it's kind of like a heavy knocked down but it's got a different pattern to it it's it's a little bit different each time however you do it now there is actually one more way that you could do this i mean actually i like there's let me think what is it 878.5 more ways you could do this these textures are really limited by your imagination so when you're doing this if you see something that I'm doing for example and you think hey, wait why doesn't he do it well do it that way grab whatever it is you're thinking of and just try it because with these kind of textures it's a hand texture it's really limited by your imagination so let me grab a different tool here
Okay, I grabbed a, this is actually a concrete finishing trowel. I do have swimming pool trowels. They have the rounded corners. It might work a little better, but considering what I'm gonna do here, I don't think it really matters. So if you happen to have a trowel and you wanna try this, you can just try just kind of a random, same kind of concept. And you could leave it at that. You could take your metal trowel and go ahead and go over it. To get that plastic one back out, go over that. And again, the more we go over it, the flatter it gets. So there's some ideas for you to do multiple different ways of brocade texture. I hope that was entertaining. Maybe you'll want to try that one. I hope I didn't get drywall in my nose, but I think I did. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to be showing you some other custom textures like a swirl texture. We've also got videos out there on knockdown texture, skip trial texture, orange peel texture, and we're going to try and cover a lot of different ones. So keep uh, stay tuned to our videos. There's a subscribe link down in the description down below. And there's going to be a link at the end of this video. So if you'll subscribe, you'll get notified of every time we release one of these videos. Hey everybody, it's Guy and this is my wife. Hi, I'm Carla. And before you go, check out the link we got here on this page. We're going to put some links to things like our website where you can get all kinds of bonus information, our free guide you can download, and more. And thanks for stopping by. Bye. See ya.